Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a very interesting video. We're talking about chapter 15, what the killer is going to be. It's about that time that we start talking about some speculation on who the new killer is going to be, the information that we know leading up to this is always super fun. And in today's video, we're going to be basically talking about and piggybacking off of polyester's video on which he said that we are going to get a smasher this is just him taking a wild shot in the dark but i want to piggyback on this a little bit not to confirm or deny this but moreover to talk about the backhand benefits of actually receiving a killer like this in the game and what it could mean and how it could look if it actually did come on into the game now before we do jump on in this video as i mentioned yesterday in all of my videos i will be doing this because i need your guys's help Guys, if you have nothing else to do or you want to support the channel, please come on over to our Twitch. We're currently live streaming some Dead by Daylight when we're playing with some awesome cards and just having a lot of fun. We are literally two average viewers monthly from getting Twitch partnerships, so I need your help to get over 75 viewers a month. So please guys, if you have nothing else to do or you just want to show some support, please come on over to Twitch. And I just want to say thank you guys for everybody that has already come out and shown their support. It means so much to me. With that being out the way, I'm going to be talking about this killer. Now first you need a little bit of background information on how this came to be. In the coding, there was actually a line of coding that talked about breaking walls. and. A lot of people didn't know what to do about this. I was streaming when someone actually showed me this and polyester was streaming as well. This was right when we had a PTB and it was a surprise to both of us on what this means. Polyester said that this could be the smasher killer, a prototype killer that they had way back in the days that would break through objects. Now, obviously in Dead by Daylight, having a killer like that right now would be very beneficial and here's why. Normally, we're used to the same type of killers. We have the humanoid killer that walks around, they smack you with their weapon or their hand, and that's pretty much it. That's the gist of it. You know, some killers are a little bit more interesting than others in some senses, but pretty much that's all you get. If you introduce someone like the Smasher into the game, or even anything else, which we will talk about in a second, it changes the entire dynamic and puts a new level of fear in Dead by Daylight. Imagine healing behind a wall, and the Smasher runs at it, breaks the entire wall down, and the wall just stays down for the remainder of the game. Loops won't be the same, the entire game is going to be shifted when playing this character, and obviously there's going to have to be a lot of balancing but it's really going to change that by daylight if that is true now what would the smasher even look like well similar to last year it could be this giant person that runs and bumps into the wall we've also seen similar characters in left for dead and other games now this can just be some big bulky giant guy that runs around and in order to balance this you could make it so that on each tile you only could break down one wall and it only works on certain tiles as polyester pointed out in his video in the most recent patch on the treatment Thayer, we actually see some of the vaults having little wood barriers in the bottom so this potentially could mean some maps are already designed and ready for that. So all of the vaults could be retexturized to have this little wood beneath them and some tiles you won't be able to break and you could actually just run and charge and break the wall. And his secondary power could be if he runs and hits you, then you automatically get knocked down to the floor. Now, this does seem very similar to a lot of other killers that we have, such as the Demogorgon or even a little bit of the Oni, except the Oni uses a weapon. This would just be raw power from this guy, so it would be interesting if they go along this route. And it does bring me to something else that I think would be super beneficial to Dead by Daylight. Now that we have so many licensed chapters in the game, eventually we're going to run out of these iconic killers that we can put in. There's only about three or four more left, and once that happens, all the other licensings that we were to get in the future would just be dwarfed by how big and more iconic the other ones are. So eventually, Dead by Daylight is going to have to incorporate something into the game that really shifts the balance and gives players a feeling of, wow, this is really good, because you only can do so much humanoid killers as well. My best idea is if they manage to get a new rig and put a different type of killer in the game, something that is not a human. And we know this is possible. I don't like to compare Dead by Daylight to other games, but last year has done this and they've done this with their spider killer. We've seen a spider killer in an asymmetrical horror game that works 
it works it looks good it feels good i didn't play much of last year so i can't talk about the balancing aspect because frankly i don't care about last year but it's definitely a good idea if they do something like that and before you start saying oh dbd just can't copy last year come on have you seen last year's update so far <laughs> but bringing back to my main points i digress from that having a different type of killer in the game that really shifts the balance of things and puts a new definition into the horror game and just adds another layer is definitely going to be super beneficial to the game and i think it's something that we need to shake up the dynamic of things because think about what they've done so far we've seen our first projectile killer in the huntress we've seen the nurse who teleport through walls so we need something like that that can really shift the balance of things because for the recent characters such as the Oni and the Demogorgon and even the Spirit in a way, they're all pretty similar based on prior killers that we had. A lot of people just say, oh well the Oni is just like the hillbilly or the Demogorgon is just like whatever. So having someone that is completely original, has a completely original power that no one can compare to anyone else would be quite awesome. And that's going to wrap it up for this video of what potentially could be chapter 15 why it would be good how it would look is this it to confirm or denying it honestly fingers crossed that we do get something like this it's just a little bit too early to determine if this is real or fake and we have to wait in the coming month to find out some more information about chapter 15 but let me know what you guys think about this do you guys think this would be a good idea do you guys want the smasher coming on in to dead by daylight in the future as always i'm the king i tip my crown to you guys i hope i see you guys on twitch today and we're gonna be there starting right now and yeah, we'll see you in the fog.